Hello my friends and welcome. I hope you're doing fine. And today we'll do another exercise of exorcism. It's called Gigasecond. And this one will be really, really short. So let's go. So last time we did hemming. So today we will do Gigasecond. All right, so instructions. Given a moment, determine the moment that will be after a Gigasecond has passed. Well, a Gigasecond is 10 uh, to the power of 9 in seconds, yeah. To be honest with you, when I read this, I was like, oh, what <laughs> what I need to do? <laughs> like, what is this? So basically, yeah, what you need to do is like you, you get um, um, a date, like the 13th of October 1995 or something. And then you need to calculate like um, a gigasecond later. And then you say, okay, in this date is one gigasecond. So, yeah. So that's basically what we need to do. So let's copy this and open our terminal. And paste this in. And let's go there. So let's open um, the lib file first. And let's open the test file. All right, so we have both here. Cool, so um, yeah, after reading this, so I really knew what they want to achieve so maybe yeah i'll talk to them so they do this like to change this uh, des description to something you understand so or, or at least me to understand all right so we have here um let me make it bigger so we have date time add final date time birth date uh, and yeah so we need to replace this with our uh, implementation. So this is a method. And uh, to go back here, so we have, um, this is an example. So uh, we have a date time in UTC, and this is the date time, birth date, whatever. And then it gives us to our um, uh, method. And then we need to calculate the result and the result should be also in date time. Okay, so you see here, if they give us this date as a date time, we should return this one. So this is basically after one gigasecond. Okay, so yeah, I think we have everything. Let's go to Dartpad. All right, let's see. Maybe there is some, some stuff that I did from last time. Let's do something new here. All right. So, um, let's clear this out and let's go back here and copy this. Copy and paste. All right, let's throw this away. Okay, cool. So, basically, also what we can do is to copy um, this one. So, we have an example. Um, actually, we can copy all of this. All right, so we have our example here. And <laughs> let's go back again and copy this. So this one will we can put in print function and then we can see the result. Okay, so so we have this um, daytime stuff and then we're getting here. All right, so the first thing is for us to, to know, okay, what we need to do. So we're getting something called daytime and um, we, we're getting it here, okay? So what can we do with that? And what are we doing now is adding, if you, if you think about it, we are adding uh, uh, one gigasecond to this date what we have here okay so just 
let's just type the um, this birth date and put dot in it and let's see what we have here it's not much but and that's that's actually a good sign because uh, you don't need to go through a lot of stuff so we have here day if we do day so maybe we see let's check let's check some of these <laughs> probably this would, video will be longer <laughs> as expected but i'll try to keep it short so um if we do this um, nothing will happen oh no yeah um, this is null so because yeah we're not returning anything but you, if you see we print 25 and 25 is here okay cool so basically if i say month it will do the same an hour and is utc probably it's, it will say true because we have utc here uh, yeah true okay so let's see what we have um methods for us okay add we have add here so we get duration uh, add duration and then we give back date time okay that's that's interesting for us subtract doesn't look like i'm checking the the stuff that give give us um date time back because this is what we need um to utc we don't need this no such method all right is before okay so add looks actually the one that we need to do okay let's add this cool so add uh let me hide this if i go here so what we need to do so duration we need something called duration returns a new data a new date time instance of duration added to this okay you, you have an example here date time dot now so it give us the date, the time for now, and then 50 days from now. Today dot add uh, const duration, whatever. All right, so perfect. This is <laughs> this is actually the solution that we are looking for, because this is exactly what we need to do. Uh, it's look always look in the documentation. Sometimes you get lucky. Cool. So we need something called duration. So it's duration uh, class, and in there uh, we let's let's check duration. So duration int days int hours int minute int second. Okay, so um, duration gets like the days, hours, minute, and stuff like that. All right. So we have seconds, and our seconds is one gigasecond that we are adding to that date so we can say seconds and then we add it's to the power of nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we can actually we can return this now because we don't need to print it so it gets returned and if we run this we get this date it looks kind of wrong let me check oh no it's perfect <laughs> yeah 2043 um date time is january the first um this is hour this is minutes this is seconds Perfect. Um, the, this one, I don't know what it is. Probably milliseconds or something. Yeah. Um, so I told you this will be a really short one. So this is basically the solution for our uh, exercise. So let's go back here. Uh, what's happening? And let's add this here. Okay. So we have this one line. Um, as you remember, probably the too far, I think, the, the exercise that I told you. If you have one line, it's write it better like this. Um, yeah, it's, it's much nicer. Look. Okay, let's save. Um, let's go to 
our terminal. And first, uh, we need to do um, need to get what's happening. Dart ah pub get. So we need to get the dependencies. And now let's see if everything works out. And it should. Hopefully. Uh, come on. Yes, so the first test passes. We need to copy this everywhere. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's run the test again. Perfect. So this is how you solve it. So you see, it's really easy. So what I want you to get from this is, so the first thing is you can Google stuff. Like you can look for um, solution that other people went through. Okay. And the second thing is what you can do is uh, to go to the, uh, to the documentation and look for it. So what we did here, we said, okay, we need something it's called date time. Uh, they need it like uh, as a return type. Okay. So um, that, let's see what, 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 what we can do with birth date. Okay. So we can put here a dot and then we get this list usually. Yeah. We get this list and basically in all, yeah. in all major, like if you, if you're using visual studio code, you get this list as well. So you can look through it and then you can say, all right, let, let me see what, what I can use. So we need some kind of method. Okay. So you look through it, you say, okay, add, let's look actually promising. And then you see compare to a uh, difference. Maybe not is after the same amount. And then you go through the list and you see, all right, cool. So add is the one that I want. And then you go, you look um, what I need for the add method. You check it and basically probably you get always a uh, example here. And as you see, is exactly what we need. So <laughs> you just copy and paste. So they did here uh, 50 days from now and we, we are doing 50 seconds from now, basically. So yeah, that's it. So. <laughs> if you find this uh, video use useful, uh, please leave a like and uh, see you next time. Steve out. Ciao.